Hi guys, welcome back to another Fudge Solar Spins. I'm Wayne. This week, as you might have guessed, it's not Dark Angels. Don't worry, we're coming back to that. Age of Sigma though, not something that I've been interested in, but some of the models are absolutely stunning. When I headed down to my local games workshop this week, I was told about a competition that they're running in store. You get assigned three random colours from a box set, and the idea is to paint a model using primarily those colours. I thought it'd be a good idea to take a little break and paint something a little bit different, just as a one-off, something that I don't normally paint. So, I picked up these Myramon Banshees. I got assigned three colours. Empress Children Pink, not gonna complain about pink. Some Dryad Bark and Corax White. Let's see what we can come up with. See you at the painting desk. This week I just thought I would uh, have a chat over me painting this Mayamon Banshee. I had a really good time doing it to be honest. It's my first time really painting an Age of Sigma only mini. Like I said it was for a local games workshop painting competition thing and I was assigned three colours. Corax White, Emperor's Children Pink and Dryad Bark, a brown colour. Now apparently you could use any of the colours you wanted but it seemed like a little bit of a cop out for me so what I did was I took those three colours and I ran with them. I used a couple of um, Citadel inks or shades as they're called now as well just to bring out a couple of the details and black but everything else any other like additional colours any other tones I mixed from those three primary colours and I have to be honest I'm really happy with the result that I got from it. So. I started off with the airbrush basically and got in the majority of the colours that way. It seemed like the best way to do it, so I like to tackle things. I laid down all of the base shades, get everything blocked in basically. I wanted to go for this ethereal glow, make it look kind of spooky. Uh, I had quite a strong vision in my head of how I wanted it to be, where I wanted the light source to come from. So rather than going for the top down zenithal highlight, I went for a bottom up um, and a single light source which was the gravestone that was coming out of this this banshee ghost thing. I don't know if they're supposed to be spectral or not. In my head, the kind of spectral, kind of not spectral, a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. So I could try to make some things look solid and some things look ghostly. So the flesh, for example, um, I hit with the white and then I used one of the technical paints, the Nylac Oxide, which I really like to use for using um, verdigris effects on metallics but you can use it in a couple of different ways so I slightly thinned it down and we got some on the the arms and the skull to kind of make it look like it was that ethereal glow almost see-through transparent kind of feel I think it worked I could have maybe done a little bit more with it but for a nice quick effect I think it worked all right I wasn't overly keen on what I did with the cloak or whatever it is, the hood and cloak part. I feel it should have been darker lower down. Um, the highlight was a little bit too bright at the bottom of the cloak. Um, I actually revised what I was doing halfway through it and went back and painted the inside of the cloak black to give the, the actual banshee itself some some more pop, a little bit more oomph in there. It was just kind of getting lost in the cape and it was dominating the entire thing. So I just knocked that a bit, I knocked it back a little bit using more black. Finally I did the standard hedge highlighting. Um, I tried to draw attention up to the face. I wanted the eye to be drawn from the lightest point which in this case was the bottom of the mini where the light source was up to the face as you would normally want. So I over highlighted the face. I know it's not technically correct considering where the highlight's supposed to be coming from, but what you're gonna do, you go with the rule of cool. I don't know, maybe there is a full moon that night where the, uh, the mini's posed and 
it's getting some light from the moon shining down on the face and just bringing out those skull looks. Last thing I did was attack the base. I wanted to kind of make the base not a, not an attention draw as such, but I didn't want to have it so that it looked out of place, like it wasn't part of the entire scene. Um, I didn't want to go to the whole length of building a small diorama for this, but you know, this base, base is really well sculpted. There's some wonderful details on there, and I wanted to do them justice and, and really tie it together. My only real criticism of what I've managed to do with the base is I could have tied the base and the figure together a little bit more. I only used what was there, what Games Workshop gave us, um, so the round holes, the round pegs. Because I painted them separately, I couldn't really go back in and green stuff it. Maybe I could have hidden the join a little bit better with some foliage, but I think it would have looked out of place considering the rest of the paint job on the mini, so I shied away from that and took it as a learning experience that maybe that's something I can do later on. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Uh, it's been a nice chilled one, had real good fun with it, and I'll let you check out what I came up with. Occasionally, I do like to do a challenge, especially something a little bit different like this. And it didn't take me too long, so it didn't eat into my hobby schedule of painting my Dark Angels. Don't want to incur anybody's wrath there. Well, that was really good fun. Enjoyed doing that. Something a little bit different, not Space Marine related. And I have seen those miniatures kicking around for a while on Instagram. Some amazing paint jobs out there. Mine doesn't do it justice, but it's a great sculpt and I had fun. And more importantly, I got to join in with my local hobby community doing something in my local game store. What about you guys? Do you take part in the local competitions? Be sure to let me know down in the comments. Well guys, that's it for this week. Don't forget you can find me live streaming over on YouTube. You can hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, all the other socials. And until next time guys, remember, if you're gonna do crack, make sure it's plastic. See ya.